On Thursday, September 1st, the Dragons hosted their home opener against the Stony Creek Cougars. Each team started off the season with a loss and both teams wanted to avoid an 0-2 start. The first half was a defensive battle with each team only managing a field goal. The score at halftime, 3-3. The second half was a different story. Early in the third quarter with senior Ryan Culp under center, running back Chris Wilson takes the handoff and goes 34 yards to the Cougars' 38-yard line. A few plays later, Culp drops back to pass. He's hit and fumbles, but he somehow manages to recover the ball to keep the drive alive. But now he's facing a fourth and five. On the next play, Culp hits number 16, Max Hornifer, for a first down at the Cougars' 15-yard line. After a Hornifer rushing touchdown was nullified by a holding penalty, the Dragons lined up on the 19-yard line. Culp takes the snap, pitches it to Hornifer, who stops and throws it to Pierce Burke, who outleaps defenders in the end zone for the first touchdown of the game. The extra point was good, Dragons 10, Cougars 3. The Cougars' next possession resulted in a punt, and the Dragons began their drive on the Cougars' 45-yard line. Two plays later, Chris Wilson catches a short pass from Culp and goes the distance, 44 yards in for the touchdown with 5.20 left to go in the third. The PAT was good, Lake Orion 17, Stony Creek 3. Let's go to the fourth quarter. The Cougars are in desperate need of a touchdown if they have any hope of staying in the game. Facing a third and 10 at the Dragons 28, quarterback Frank Potenza heaves it downfield. At first glance, it looks like Jaron Albright comes up with the interception, but somehow Spencer Barr Redmond comes up with the catch. The reception gives the Cougars a first down on the five yard line. After three straight stops by the Lake Orion defense, the Cougars went for it on fourth down. Potenza finds Brady Campbell in the back of the end zone for the Cougars' first TD of the game. The PAT was good. The Cougars pulled within seven points with just over nine minutes to go. During the ensuing drive, the Dragons move the ball to their own 38-yard line. Cope hands off to Hornifer. He turns the corner, and it's a foot race. It's a mad dash to the end zone, and oh, he gets tripped up by Barr Redman. The refs spot the ball inside the one. On the next play, Cope tucks the ball and plunges into the end zone to put the Dragons up by two scores. Lake Orion 24, Stony Creek 10 with just over seven minutes to go. With time running out, Potenza rolls to his right. He throws a rainbow to Barr Redman, but it's picked off by Joe Slayton, who returns it to midfield. Lake Orion sealed the deal when Nick Fletcher takes the handoff and goes 25 yards into the end zone. The extra point was missed. The final, Lake Orion 30, Stony Creek 10. We had a chance to talk to Chris Bell after the game. Yeah, first half, I mean, it was, it was still a little bit of, of last week. You know, we just... We thought we had some things, but you know, even you know, backs running wrong courses, or we're not coming flat enough on the down block, or we're blowing the protection, and, and we felt we could throw the ball tonight. We were having a hard time protecting, um, so you know, it was basically regrouping at halftime, simplifying a little bit. Uh, you know, we changed up a little bit. Uh, we, went, we went to more of a, of a two by two instead of putting the tight end in there to spread them out a little bit and gave us a little bit more room. And then our athlete, then we started playing. We got some confidence. Chris started running hard. The line was coming off. We did a good job blocking on the perimeter. And then everything was flowing. And once we get that going, we started hitting on all phases. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.